YouTube, ID Furkan here, and today we are going to talk about the front section of this uh, car, uh, front seats. Uh, I did receive lots of uh, questions about the front seats. Well, I didn't expect it because well, every review out there is talking about the front seats. But I can do it too, right? Good, let's do this. Uh, let's start with the seats. Uh, very important. Uh, you are, it's the thing you are daily sitting on this car and it needs to be good, right? Great. Now, my car is a first Max edition, which means this car has uh, ergo active uh, seating, which, is, which means in this car uh, electronic seats, uh, massage, uh, memory seats, and some extras which doesn't have the uh, other seat, which doesn't have the other seats. So, shall we start with the seating? It's windy outside, so sorry about the wind. I will try to make it great, but uh, let's do it. This is the front, front seat, as you can see, and immediately you will see here some electronics. Uh, my leg extender and your uh, headrest, head backrest. Um, what do you need to know? First, start with the up. You can uh, not move this forward or backwards. It's only up or down. The reason for that is, uh, I think, is because this is uh, also active and does have an active safety uh, module in case you crash uh, this thing goes forward forward so you will have uh, less chance for a whiplash so that's that yeah for some people it won't like this but I do like it it's perfectly fine uh, then we are going to uh, uh, below this section is the same for the first, uh, also for the first and standard seats, but also for the first uh, Max or anything with Ergo Active. Uh, then we go to a section which is different. The uh, standard seats are, uh, I think, like I think like this, just a, a bit like that, uh, and. It doesn't have this section, the standard seats, but the Ergo Active you have, ex you can extend your uh, seating, which is nice for the long leg people between us, or short leg people between us, because it can be pretty short. Uh, next, what is different for, uh, yeah, between the first Max and the first or Ergo Active and the manuals is. Uh, the Ergo Active, as you can see, it can move the seating forward, sideways. And then up. Or down, forward, sideways, etc. And your landing. Let me see if you can see it. Up. No, let me push it. Does it work? Can you see it? No, it now is going backwards. It needs to go outward. Maybe you'll see it. I will just fully pu put it backwards. Oh, inside. And now I will go slowly down. And slowly up. It's really hard to see. Let me show it like this, maybe it's maybe like that, and then let me go up and now down. It's visible, but it's not huge amount. Now, let's go back to our uh, yeah, this thing. Important if you have uh, Ergo Active, set it how you like it. Uh, currently. Sadly, the car doesn't know uh, which driver is entering with the destinated key. Maybe in the future it will, but currently the system is dumb and 
you need to play it with just one and two. So let's go, let's put it back to how it was. You press one in my case and it fixed everything. And uh, as a joke, I put it also on two. Let me show it. And it's, wait, I was not on yet. Perfectly. No, I. Perfect, right? Great. Uh, and as last, we do have massage. And then what happens actually, what does this button do? It's basically, you are on a long trip and it's moving this up and down, up and down and it goes outwards and it pushes back inside so your uh, back will stretch a bit let's say so it's not that uh, irritating on a long ride on a long uh, trip uh, I already used it several times and it's really refreshing it's fine it's great uh, but it can be better I think but that's a personal feeling um, and then we that are the seats now let's go start from the lower se segment uh, this is my pedals my special edition first edition play and pause pedals don't worry you can just buy it uh, from the uh, Volkswagen shop for 40 euros something like that so if you want to feel special and also buy the first batch also available buy it so you have your own first edition uh, the only thing I am thinking which could be a bit better uh, these are the standard mats floor mats standard and I do also feel this place where I put my heel it's feel very thin right now I'm not sure how long it will last so maybe try to get some premium mats for your buy uh, or if you have already a car they cost like 50 euros on the shop so if i am through this mat i will just buy the premium one and uh, be done with it uh, what do we have more now let's look below now but there's a steering column air fans obd and that's it basically ah, great some systems from the back all right uh, this thing here it's your temperature sensor cabin sensor I would say and looking underneath it more stuff more stuff more electronica and it's more basically your uh, electronics um, looking to the door yeah tailgate your uh, uh, buttons and knobs for the uh, for the windows if you press it you will use the rear ones of course I need to start the car let's let's start the car and uh, you know what stop massage put it on back good great no. that's great uh, before I'm going to the center, I want to uh, talk more uh, memory seats. Then you start the car. Let me try it again. Then you start the car. Let me try that again. It's very important because... Uh, it is about to turn off. It helps me saying what it is come on normally it will say welcome driver but uh, let me try try one more time low battery it is about to turn off no ah, there welcome driver 
but it doesn't say which driver so the system doesn't know who the driver is depending on the key so that's why this is still manual but uh, I would like to show you one thing is when you set your side mirrors right depending on the seating number you can change the uh, it can it change with it so it, I am now pressing 2 it fixes the left and the right now I'm pressing 1 back to the, what it was it's done now um, if you want to change your seating position let's say I want it to let's put it on 2 right now I'm changing now a bit more front sideways go backwards uh, I put this on left and then I move it move it do I need to stop the car yeah I need to stop the car let's move it and then you press set and then press 2 did you hear that beep then you know it's saved on number two. Uh, let's put it back in one and let's move to this uh, console. Now, these are the windows, side windows. Left, right, right. You press on rear, rear. It lights up and then you will uh, play, play with the rear. But maybe it's too warm inside or it's something is happening you need to open all of them at the same time you press it and wait till it's blinking and then if you press it uh, press down down it will open every single window and for your info the rears are going down to the yeah totally down basically yeah, let's put it back Hold it in, let it, uh, and everything is going up. Wonderful. Now, what do we have more? Let's do this then. Left. I hate this, literally, I hate this, but I will come later because every time you put it on left or right, let's say on right and you put it on reverse, it, wait, reverse. It goes down, it can dip the mirrors. But you go forward, you go backwards, let me forwards, does it come back? It doesn't. You go backwards, it should fix it itself. Oh, right there. You go backwards, it's fixing. No. Anyway, uh, but the issue is you put it on air. An R, an R, whatever what it is. Uh, but uh, it's not staying at R because it's resetting every two minutes, one minute. Now let's see what's happening. Uh, what do you have more? This is side mirror heating, and it, when it's freezing or it's damp, and this is side mirrors are going inside. It's handy if you are in a, a car wash, let's say. Uh, what do you have more? These two. This is all the locks are closed. No. And the left one are charged child locks for the rear, both rears. You can't choose which one. So. On your left side, uh, we have, in my case, I have six options. The first doesn't have six, I think it does have four. It's missing this one, I think. But the modus is literally, if you press it, you can see dim it, side, light switch off, or you press it on auto and it will be fine. Fronts are, I think your daylight running lights are turned on, so the rears will also uh, open. So it sees the rears, uh, no, the rear lights are active. The rear, that is your fog light, as you can see there. Uh, no. This is your uh, 
defroster. This is maximum front heating or blowing and this is rear window heating. Uh, I put, I did enable my uh, fog light. Let's see how the fog light is. Because I did receive my, I did receive a question. No, let's see. This inside, start the car, put it on rear. And no, you know what? Let's have some light show at the back. Look the lights, you know. But as you can see, the fog lights is there on left-handed drive systems. And if you're in UK or anywhere where it's right-handed, it's right there. But currently, as you can see, it looks to be empty. So. But you can switch the car to be left-handed and right-handed drive, light-wise, so I think that I've already got the right. But, you know, look this great show! Cool! Anyway, back to the front seats. Um, that was the uh, light shows, front off. Great! Uh, what do we have? The hand handles. What do we have here? No. You can pull it inside and it will just use the high beam put it backwards like that and you will enable automatic high beam assist now if you press it again it will be high beam now you pull it back and it's shut down now left right and that's it uh, maybe an interesting thing uh, you can put your parking lights if you're Putting on left or light and you shut down the car, it will have parking lights. Now, let's say if that's working as intended, shut down, it's low. And I just said it, but the parking lights are on. I put it on the left side, it's perfect. And when looking to the back, left is closed, but the right is on. So it's giving me a wink. <laughs> now let's put it on the left side. Doesn't work. Yeah. Now on the left side, it should work. Right there. But this bar isn't alive. Just only this. And on the re rear. It's only one side and that's the left so yeah it's an interesting feature but if you're on the side and you don't want to start your car close your car and uh, put your uh, blinkers left or right so it will be fine so let's start it again um, that's your right hand and your left hand you have uh, your fluid uh, your washer fluid for front screen and rear screen um, and I just want to show you one thing before we go front if you pull it to yourself there is your washer fluid for the front screen if you are pushing it backwards it will put it on the rear but if you go backwards and uh, say uh, I want to clean my uh, rears you don't need to open the rear just flute your rears and then it gets soaking wet why it's that because does it open this thing right here it's your washing fluid. This thing right here is your washing fluid and it cleans the rear screen. So that's great. It's, it will be a mess, but it's all right. So for anyone who thinks the rear camera is not hidden away and that will give me some smudge, don't worry, your rear camera will be Clister clear. Not always, but 90% of the time. So 
I wanted to say that. Um, and more on this, it's yeah, touching there, touching mm. there, nothing interesting. Uh, before we move to here and there, I want to show you no, one thing is uh, Klima settings. You can enable your seat heating and steering wheel heating already without doing this or searching for what is the goddamn button for my for my steering heating if you just enable this on low you will always have some warm steering wheel or heated seating uh, which can be interesting uh, let me just enable this for future reference and see what happens that and I will come back later like in a month but that's that uh, do I want that automatic air circulation nah nah I don't need it uh, that's that uh, you know what maybe I will just freezing temperatures and that was the infotainment now, let's go back with the uh, center console but first I need to change my batteries good we're back um, where we were we were with the center console no uh, you can close it on off on not that interesting these are illuminated but these buttons here at the front are not illuminated this one is illuminated so that's something uh, strange to see but yeah do you really need it you can just feel, feel it on touch so it will be fine volumes can be like this and uh, for temperature will be like hello ID it's cold no problem it will get warmer shortly hello ID it's warm please say the full address starting with the city try again hello ID it's hot sorry it's warm sure it will get cooler shortly so that was the right command now but uh, my English is not perfect so I have the issue to uh, go from one word to the other word in one try uh, beside that what's next we do have a center console uh, which is interchangeable with that and that but before we go I want to show you this thing it's very handy you're charging you can put your charging cards right there or your uh, toll cards right there and yeah or your credit card handy for the future references but that's it um, yeah, this is my key then we have this thing here right here these two are interchangeable no you can let me put it straight you can open them or you can change them like this or you can turn them around or you can even do it like this or even like this whatever you want but I did have I do like it like this too so I can put my phone here or something more there uh, I think I did it like this because I can put my phone right there and I can see it visible like this and it will be fine basically instead of putting it there if you are just looking for some uh, yeah, address and you don't want it put it, put it in your quick charger right there charge yes does it charge is it on is my car active? Same thing. 
Hmm, okay. Oh no, my card is not active, sorry. Uh, but you have the next option to remove these, these two things. And then, no, let me make this empty too. And you can exchange these two. You can put it right. Let me see. Let me put it. Does it work? Yeah. And you can put it like this, and you can keep your holders right there. And then you have here the biggest amount of place if you want. And then keep it, keep this thing right there. You know. But I don't like that because I'm not drinking that much. Sorry, I need to turn this around. Is it working? It's not working. Yes, another, another try. Sorry. No, it was right. But damn it. Let's let's try before I give it up. Ah, right there. And I'm gonna put this back here, and then we are done with this thing. Uh, my USB-C to infotainment right there. My phone right there. My key, really handy if you want to connect your key. Just put it there, as you can see. And you can connect the car again if you are running out of juice. And uh, putting it back. And that's it, basically. Um, last step, I think if you put this forward and then it's clean, like that. Last step, not the last second, last step. I do like this. I mean, I'm sure. You can put this higher, you can put it lower, and they will, they will be fine. It's perfect, perfect. And everybody can have his own uh, height. Only thing, it could have been a bit wider because if you have a thick jacket, you'll be like this. <sighs> because it's it's not handy. But when you're in a t-shirt like me, it's perfect. But with a thick jacket, it's bad. Uh, last thing um, before we go to the glove box. Let great light great right there right side is the same and yeah sadly if I open this it doesn't extend it's just one solid thing so I can't extend it to there so that's that same on the other side but yeah it's fine and as last, your glove box. It's small, but let me show you my garbage. HBC, some cables, some aspirins, more cables, more cables, more cables, gum, cables, COVID emergency pack, or uh, just uh, masks. Uh, my manuals with some uh, stuff, cart, uh, damaged stuff, and more chewing gum. And put it right there. And that's it basically. Um, some notes. Let me put this up and let me come a bit closer. Some notes. It looks to be not ventilated. It's not ventilated, so it can get hot. It doesn't have any light. Even if I enable the light inside right there, it doesn't have any light. And for the people who are thinking if we have USB-C slots or USB slots, tough luck, nothing. That's it basically. So to give you a idea, this is a half a liter Coca-Cola Zero. Sideways, it won't, it won't even close. And lengthwise, it 
it's that so to give you an idea uh, another thing maybe that will be can be interesting mm, just a parking blue parking yeah it's not that interesting anyway that was your glove box now let me put everything away and let me put everything back inside and then we can have right there good chewing gum cables hand thing masks cables 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 some cables stay here some cables i am going to put it away and uh, that's it i think this is the whole story of the front seats right great um do i miss a thing here no mirrors more thing inside mirrors and outside mirrors at the first edition first max talking to first max are dimmed which is nice but beside that i think i covered everything here so thanks for watching it was a bit a long video but i hope you enjoyed it and uh, then i will see you again in my next video later